you know that moment when you can't tell if you're gonna throw up or not that's what i'm going through right now i don't think i'm gonna throw up i haven't drank or ate anything today i'm on bed a bit of water anyway hey what's up you guys welcome back to my channel if you're new here hi hello i'm lydia and if you are new here make sure you hit the subscribe button join the growing family turn notifications on a way down and give me a thumbs up because it really does help me out today as you read in the title we're doing your assumptions about me let's start with tell tell on why first one is you never share anything now i don't think that could be further from the truth i share literally my entire life online my sisters share my hairbands because i wear i wear pom-poms and i'm always sending gifts to people like my pen pals know this i always put extras in my letters i'm making a little care package for Alana so yeah I think I do share it next one is you got bullied at school yes I did and I made a video on it last year maybe early this year I'll try and remember to link it on the iCard up there so yeah I did make I did make a video on that the bullying I went through got quite serious quite quickly and it really was a dangerous situation that the school did not handle at all in fact they accused me of bullying myself which was ridiculous but what are you gonna do you care a lot yes i do anyone who's friends with me and even those who aren't friends with me i always say that i'm here to talk to and i am here to talk to I know I don't answer every DM I get, but I try to answer as many as I can. Next, we're moving on to Instagram. You care super deeply about people in your, you keep in your life, and also that you have a million ideas for scripts, novels, and novels in your mind. I do care very deeply about people. The person I'm caring about the most at the minute is Alana because she's going through a really rough time. If you don't know what Alana's going through, I'll link her channel up there. This is Alana's channel. She's doing really well on YouTube at the minute, and she's also going through a really hard time at the minute with being in hospital and self-harm, and I care about her. So go show her some love. And also that you have a million ideas for scripts and novels in your mind. Actually, no, I don't. The way I'm creative is through making YouTube videos and colouring in and drawing. Not painting though. I hate painting. Next is you're short. Fuck you, Sandy. I know I'm short. <laughs> I don't need reminding of that. But oh well. Yes, I'm five foot two. My mom's shorter, she's four foot eleven. I'm pretty tall in comparison. Next is you like heavy metal music. Yes, I do. Do you like heavy metal music? I can't play any of my playlists because I don't want to get copyrighted. Sorry. The next one is you like cereal. IDK. So when I'm here at home, home, in my flat, I don't eat breakfast, but when I'm at my grandparents or on holiday with my grandparents, I do eat breakfast. So I have cereal then. I have choco squares. Probably not great for my diabetes, but who cares? I'm still alive. Somehow. Next is you're a messy person. Yes, I am. <laughs> I have a lot of clothes. I have a lot of squishmallows. I have a lot of gifts that I still need to house. Everywhere I look, there's a fucking squishmallow. <laughs> the squishmallow's here. These are my Bigfoot. Look at my makeup collection. You like food? Well, this is a bit hit and miss. 
I like chocolate. Always. Always like chocolate. But I don't like food. I have an eating disorder. I don't like food. I don't hate food. I just don't enjoy food. So whatever I eat, I'm not really enjoying it. Apart from one meal. One meal I love. And that is sausage and mash. That meal I fucking love. I will kill for that meal. I hate saying no to people. Oh, that's so true. If someone asks me something, I, I can't say no to someone. And it is the biggest bane of my life. Trust me on that. It is horrific. That's a bit dark. I was just seeing what the next one is. Fuck. You secretly want to kill yourself. Fuck. Just to be clear, no I don't. I've come a long way in my recovery since my last attempt and I can say this with 100% without doubt. I am not suicidal. I have no intention on taking my own life at this current moment in time. Next is, you don't fully understand your new diagnosis of schizoaffective disorder. True. I, I've, when I get paid Monday, I'm ordering some books to read on schizoaffective disorder. So I can educate myself, because a lot I've tried googling, it doesn't come up with the answer, so... <laughs> You're confident in your scars. I covered my scars with tattoos. Because they was triggering me. Next is, you talk shit about mental health services. Yeah, I do. Because they're shit. It's not my fault that they're incapable of doing their jobs. I'm just here to document. Fuck, you're abusive to your partners. No. I'm not mentally abusive, I'm not emotionally abusive, I'm not sexually abusive, I'm not, I'm not physically abusive. Fuck. What do you guys really think of me? Jesus. Not religious. No, I'm not. I'm really not religious. And when I was in primary school, they was always pushing Christianity onto us. Back in like 2001, <laughs> 2002, 2003, 2004, 2005. It was really heavy on pushing Christianity forward. And they was like, Did you bring a picture of when you got christened. And I didn't understand that I hadn't been christened because everyone in my class had. And when I asked my mom, she's like, you didn't get christened. I was like, oh. So yeah, I guess I've always been the odd one out in school. And the last one we've got is you're a good student. Well, I am when I'm not in groups. <laughs> Group work kills me because I'm not confident in the slightest. I normally come off confident on camera sometimes but I'm literally on my own talking to a camera I can do that when you're working in a group of people of about 13 50 to 15 people trying to get your voice heard is really fucking hard and with the last assignment I failed it because I didn't contribute enough And it's like, how the fuck can I contribute when no one's listening to me? So I redid it and I got first. I redid it on my own and got first. I am graduating uni in November with a first. I've never got less than a first on an assignment. In my eight years of studying. So I'm pretty proud of myself. I'd say I am a good student. Minus when I've been off my mental health. Yeah, that's all I've got for this video. Thank you for sending in your assumptions. If you want to be featured in the next Q&A or assumptions video, I'll link my Instagram on the iCard up there. My Instagram is also on screen. And yeah, I'll see you in my next video. Peace.